Boof sandwich. Boof sandwich. Boof sandwich. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. My name is George Motes, and my job is to celebrate the American hamburger. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You get outside the United States, people have done some pretty crazy shit with hamburgers. Let me tell you. You got two today. The Islak from Turkey and the Boof sandwich from Denmark. One is steamed in tomato sauce, basically, and the other one is swimming in a pool of brown gravy. What do these two burgers have in common? They're both a hot, wet mess. So wish me luck, because you know how it is when I get near hot, wet stuff. Uh, yay! You ready? Let's do this! The Islak burger, a beloved street food from Istanbul, Turkey. Specifically from the city center in a place called Taksim Square. Taksim Square, there are street vendors that sell this wet burger right from steamed glass boxes on the street. Think of kufta, a Middle Eastern meatball that has been patted flat and cooked like a hamburger. Yum, 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 yum. I've never tasted the Islak burger, but I wanted to speak to somebody who has grown up eating this burger. I know a guy who should definitely know what it tastes like. Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. How are you? Thanks for being on Burger Scholar Sessions. What, what is your connection to Turkey? My parents are both Turkish. Uh, my mom still lives in Turkey. I've gone there every year of my life. Uh, I spent a ton of time uh, enjoying Turkish cuisine. I'm about to make a burger that I've actually never tasted before. What, what is an Isl Islak burger? And am I pronouncing that right? Do you know what that is? I do know what it is. It's, it's actually said quite nicely. So the word islak means wet. It talks him, the little word literally means to divide because it was the main place where water was divided coming into the city. There are these street carts in Taksim that have to make things that Turks like and that Westerners like. So they have to be a little flexible. And I'll be your taste buds. Are you ready for this? My best description. All right. They're soft. The patties are thin. They're very garlicky. They melt in your mouth. I mean, you literally, they drip all over you as you eat them. You know, sometimes hot messes are what you want in your life. This is one of those versions. You just made me so hungry, and I cannot wait to try this burger now. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Oz. Thanks for being on Burger Scholar Sessions. <laughs> Been a joy. I got hungry, too. Let's start by mixing the beef. A little cumin, pepper, parsley, a little bit of everything in there. Spice in the beef. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, okay, well, we like spicy, right? It's okay. Oh, some fresh parsley. We're gonna grate an onion in here, too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez, I can't even, <laughs> sorry, it's like I can't even see. I'm in a mess. What I'm gonna do is make small balls, tiny balls, meatballs. Mm. Oh my God, it already smells so good. What the hell is that stuff over there? Right, exactly. That's what makes the Islak burger wet right there. That is a pretty basic tomato sauce. Mm. Ah, can you smell that? Woo, man. Ah, that smells good. Oh. If you think about street food, street food has to be plentiful, it has to be quick, obviously, right? This makes perfect sense because the vendor could cook a patty and then let it sit warming in a sauce. And then when a customer came by to get a burger, they could just take it out of the sauce and serve it in a bun. Well, I'd go to the next stage, which is to get the bun ready. Hello? Hello? Uh-huh. You take the burger, okay? And you stick it into the bun. Okay, there we go. Now, you put it into the steamer. That, yay! <laughs> Steam is hot, people. I want to put some of the some of the sauce on top of the burger. This is gonna make a freaking mess of your steamer. I'm sorry, but just trust me on this. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let it steam. Oh yeah. What you doing in there? They're ready. Hey, fucker. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Would you please look at this thing? Oh. So hot. <laughs> Jesus. Check it out. Behold the Turkish wet burger. The Islak burger from Turkey. Mmm. Tomatoey, garlicky, and full of beautiful Middle Eastern spice. Mmm. Mmm. 
Wow. That is a unique experience. Oh, that one. Mmm, yum. That's a great idea right there. Why, why, how, come, how come we don't have more of those in the world? <laughs> why is this burger limited to only Istanbul? I'm confused. We're on to the next. The Buff Sandwich from Denmark. Ooh, hang on, I'm not done with this though. <laughs> That's right, the Buff Sandwich. Also known as the Gravy Burger, and you'll see why. Now, I gotta tell you something. This is probably one of the most complicated burgers I've ever had to make. This is no simple cheeseburger at all. And by the way, this burger is eaten with a knife and a fork. That's right. It's one of the very few burgers I will ever eat with a knife and a fork. Now, if you're in France, everybody eats burgers with knives and forks. Why do you do that? Why? Don't do that. It's ridiculous. What are you afraid of? I have good friends in Denmark. So I called my friend Klaus Wuttrup, who owns Gasoline Grill in Copenhagen, to see what he had to say about the Buff Sandwich. What up, man? Copenhagen, <laughs> my friend Klaus Wuttrup from the Gasoline Grill. Is it an American-style hamburger joint in Copenhagen? Would you call it that? Yeah, I would. Yeah, definitely American. We have cheeseburgers, we have a butter burger, actually. Oh, you and do? We have a, yeah, a burger, yeah. So Klaus, I've only had one buff sandwich. It was not in Denmark, and I'm pretty sure it was totally inaccurate. Describe what is the taste of this thing. I would like to have a lot of like uh, richness and like roasted dark flavors in the, in the gravy. And then all like the sweetness and also acidity from uh, all the condiments you put in there. Now I'm so hungry. I can't. I cannot wait to eat this thing. Yeah, I can't wait to see uh, what you come up with. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus, thank you. Good to see you. See you. <laughs> First, I'm gonna make a patty. The buff sandwich is not a thin smashed patty. They actually use sort of thick patties. One of the most important ingredients though is the brown gravy. You gotta get that right. This is a brown pork gravy that I made from pork stock and pork fat. Oh, that's good. Mmm, good gravy. Flipping. Buff sandwich. This is how they treat the buff sandwich in Denmark. They take a perfectly cooked burger and they dunk it in gravy. Look at that. They dunk it in beautiful brown pork Gravy. Oops. <laughs> Let's start building the burger. Pickle beets on the bottom, then the patty. Look at that. <laughs> Put a Dijon mustard. Unfortunately, some ketchup. So it's kind of mixed in with the, with the mustard. It might be okay. Then a remoulade. The remoulade is very important. This is not the remoulade you, you think of when you think of Louisiana, for example. This is a basic French remoulade. It's a lemony uh, mayo and mustard sauce with uh, dill pickle chunks in it. Raw onion, sweet cucumbers, which in this case we're using uh, bread and butter sweet pickles. So the grilled onion, which they call soft onion. Next, they dump some gravy on top. Ha ha ha. Mmm. Yeah, but wait, one final ingredient. Crispy onions on top. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most complicated burgers I've ever made. This better be good. Buff sandwich. Buff sandwich. <laughs> now you can't pick this up. You have to use a knife and a fork. That's the rule. Have to. This is so weird. This is like driving with my feet or something. This is bizarre. I got the beets, I got the, the gravy, the bun. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's good. But I sure wish I could pick it up. Oh, those crispy onions. I could just have crispy onions and gravy and be happy. <laughs> mm. Looking in here, there's a, oh, what's that? It's a pickle. It's an onion. It's a beet. It's a mess. But it is one tasty hot mess. As you can see from this <laughs> pile of Danish hamburger soup, there's no end. There's no end at all um, to what the <laughs> hamburger can be. Both burgers. A hot, wet mess, and I love them for this. I'll see you next time when I eat a burger with my hands. <laughs>Hi, I'm George Motes from Burger Scholar Sessions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch more episodes right here.
Somewhere here. Right here? Up in here. 